Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Golf Echo Juliet here from MAM Portable and QRP. Today we're going to have a look at the Sota Beams Peak in-fed half-wave tuner. And we're going to make a 10 meter whisper test with it to see how it performs. I received this as a gift from my son last Christmas, so I really have no expectations about its performance or anything like that. So this test isn't a full test, I just did a 5 watt test to see what type of results I could expect. Kind of a benchmark you could say. I was already disappointed with the lack of a female BNC connector on the case, so I wasn't filled with a whole lot of confidence to begin with. Now initially looking at the results, I just noticed the European stations. I saw the Papa uniform in there, but it was just incomprehensible like one of those brain games from Discovery Channel. I'm looking at the results and I'm going Papa Uniform, Papa Uniform, Papa Uniform, and it just doesn't click. It's actually incomprehensible. Then I check the map again and I realize, wow, I hit Brazil. I hit Brazil using five watts in the evening after dark on 10 meters with a tuner I've never used. So, okay, Sota Beams, you got my attention. Well, based on this, I think we should do another whisper test. Uh, 20 meters, 17 meters, 15, 12, and 10 meters. Just like we did with the ATX walkabout. And we can see the real performance of this antenna. In regards to first impressions, um, there was two things that bothered me. The lack of the female BNC connector and the tuner felt rather rickety, if I can say. I don't know the right word. But it didn't feel solid and uh, assuring in my hand. It actually felt like something that would break. Now checking their website, I see that there's a 2015 model, which addresses some of the problems that I have. Considering this one arrived so close to Christmas, uh, I think I'm going to check and see if I could exchange it for the 2015 model. In regards to performance, at least on 10 meters, how can I complain? So look forward to the Whisper series in the coming days. Uh, we'll go through uh, 20 meters, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meters through the whole range of the FT817. So these are my first impressions. It didn't feel very well made or solid. Uh, there was no female BNC connector on the case. There was some epoxy that had leaked out of the case from uh, the antenna connector hole. Um, on the other hand, it's very easy to tune. Uh, performance is just brilliant on 10 meters. Uh, it's got a great price. Uh, excellent size and weight for portable ops. Uh, going back the other way, it didn't include enough bullet connectors for all of the bands that it covers. And those bullet connectors weren't available in the shop, but overall, I'm somewhat happy. Um, I can certainly live with all these things if the performance is just as good on the other bands as it is on 10 meters. If you found this informative or useful, please give a thumbs up and let people know what we're doing with this channel. And if you have another moment, take a look at our other channels, Revival Tech Nord. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching, 73 and good DX.